Hello, my name is Betsy Spencer and I'm the Director of the Neighborhood Housing and Community Development Office. I am pleased to present the Department's Fiscal Year 2013-2014 Proposed Budget. The mission of Neighborhood Housing and Community Development is to provide housing and community development services to benefit Austin residents so they can increase their opportunities for self-sufficiency. The Department does this through a number of programs to include homeless and special needs, renter and home buyer assistance programs, and providing assistance to developers to create, retain, and preserve affordable housing. In addition, the Department offers resources to neighborhood and commercial revitalization, as well as funds programs that support small businesses. Given the Department's mission, the key performance metric noted on the slide captures the number of households and individuals assisted through the various services offered. Due to the nature of the Department's work, Program goals often require more than a 12-month process to provide a more comprehensive snapshot of a program's success. To expand on this point, I'd like to take the opportunity to highlight the housing development cycle. Overall, this chart demonstrates the timing of the development process, recognizing that there is a lag time from the time of investment to the time housing is actually constructed and available for occupancy. This lag time is impacted by a number of factors to include market fluctuations, timing of real estate transactions, and the actual time it takes for developers to coordinate the financing for affordable housing development. This can often involve many funding sources for multiple private and public agencies. The example shown in the chart is specific to the $55 million general obligation bonds authorized by the voters in 2006 which enabled the department to serve a total of 2,565 affordable households. As noted, the overall cycle that takes place from program inception to construction can take multiple years. Although all of the 55 million in GEO bonds have been committed, the department will still realize units from these transactions through fiscal year 2016. This chart demonstrates the overall development cycle of the bond program as well as the need for continuous infusion of CIP funding to maintain momentum in affordable housing programs. The revenue chart on the left reflects the revenue highlights, which I will elaborate on in the following slide. The chart on the right presents the use of federal and local funds. Overall, there is a proposed $600,000 increase to the support services budget for fiscal year 2014. To expand on the revenue highlights, the proposed transfer to the Housing Trust Fund in fiscal year 2014 reflects a $300,000 increase. This budget also sets the stage for transitioning the department from the Sustainability Fund to the General Fund over the next few years. It's important to note that the department does not anticipate an adverse impact due to sequestration in fiscal year 2014. However, there has been an overall decrease in federal funding of $3.6 million over the past two fiscal years. City staff presented a long-term housing funding strategy to the Austin City Council at a June 18th work session. The presentation provides a transition plan of NHCD programs from the Sustainability Fund to the General Fund. In addition, the plan offers a new calculation method for dedicated revenue which allocates 0.25% of the O&M property tax revenue to the Housing Trust Fund in fiscal year 2014. The plan ref reflects a percentage allocation increase to 2.0% by fiscal year 2018 with a transfer cap established at $10 million annually. The June 18th presentation can be viewed online on the Channel 6 webpage. NHCD's budget incorporates the proposed change in the calculation method, which increases its Housing Trust Fund transfer amount in fiscal year 2014 by 78,000. In addition, several budget highlights to note are the department's ongoing need for records management expertise. This compliance program function supports records management for multiple grant-funded programs with federal regulations that require long-term monitoring. The department also has a need for strategic investment in outreach and education. 
The outreach program will also broaden the department's abilities to serve as a resource to other departmental outreach efforts to include code compliance initiatives. To turn our focus now to the capital improvement program budget, the department continues to need funding to realize ongoing accomplishments in this key area. Major accomplishments in the department's CIP program include committing the $55 million in general obligation bond funds. The GEO bond funds produced a record 503 rental units in fiscal year 2012. In addition, the city through the Austin Housing Finance Corporation finalized phase three of the Juniper Olive Street homes within the 11th Street corridor. The historic preservation of these homes, just a few blocks from downtown, will allow for ownership opportunities for low-income households. The fiscal year 2014 spending plan will fund the 2014 Comprehensive Housing Market Study and will provide critical funding for the Finance Corporation to continue to create, retain, and preserve affordable housing. The department continues to seek $10 million annually for its capital program for affordable housing initiatives. NHCD will utilize its affordable housing strategy comprised of three key components which include access to timely, accurate data and research to assess gaps and establish goals and targets. Two, establishing local goals and targets serves as a framework for a dedicated revenue plan to provide at minimum a $10 million capital budget. The third element of the strategy is to develop, refine, and recalibrate regulations that will promote inclusion of affordable housing and decrease impediments. The Land Development Code rewrite is a unique and timely opportunity to connect Imagine Austin planning principles with on-the-ground results. The department will continue to look toward this best practice approach in its tireless efforts to achieve best managed results which is to aggressively respond to the housing needs of all of Austin's residents. Three contacts for any information regarding the NHCD budget and budget process include myself, Rebecca Giello, the Assistant Director, and Alex Zamora, the Chief Financial Manager. Jill Goodman is our representative for all media inquiries. Thank you.